And the protest at U of T is now one of dozens happening right across campuses in Canada and the United States. It started south of the border. CTV National Scott Hurst is live now with the latest. So how about these Canadian protests, Scott? They joined the high-profile ones happening in the U.S., but there is a kind of really significant difference to what's happening at those uh, U.S. colleges. Good morning, Nick and Jen. You heard that one protester tell Courtney that they're looking to ride that wave of protests. And as we saw it start south of the border, and now many demonstrations and encampments have popped up at Canadian universities. We can count a number of them, in particular the University of Ottawa, Western, out west at University of Victoria and University of British Columbia as well. But also we've been reporting closely on what's happening at McGill University, where pro-Palestinian activists celebrated a legal victory yesterday as a court rejected an injunction to move the protest camp further away from the school. We are learning that Jewish groups say they're planning to launch a counter protest at the university and that is planned during the noon hour. McGill is offering a forum to discuss the protesters demands if they take down the encampments. But Nick as you mentioned as well we've been seeing this uh, these protests these demonstrations and these encampments erupt at universities south of the border as well. We saw earlier this week Week. Quite a heavy police presence uh, in uh, at Columbia University, where they cleared dozens of protesters and arrested more than a hundred people as police moved in on the encampment there. But also, just this morning, we saw quite a violent clash at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, where police in full riot gear moved in on protesters as they declared that encampment illegal this morning. And here's a live look at what's happening at UCLA. UCLA this morning. Police moved in on protesters just a few hours ago. Despite the order to leave, thousands stayed at the encampment overnight. And at this point, it is being reported that several demonstrators have been arrested. Earlier today, we saw video from UCLA showing officers deploying flashbangs and what appeared to be uh, firing rubber bullets at the protesters. Police began tearing down the barricades after it was declared illegal, after that encampment was declared illegal by the university and arresting several uh, pro-Palestinian demonstrators. And despite the uh, encampment at Columbia being torn down earlier this week and police moving in on demonstrators at UCLA, we are also seeing these encampments, these protests, these demonstrations continue, Nick and Jen, to pop up at dozens of universities and colleges all across the U.S. And now, as we're seeing this morning at the University of Toronto and several Canadian institutions, it is also happening at universities on our side of the border as well. Nick and Jen. Okay, that's CTV National. Scott Hurst joining us live. Scott, really an interesting contrast in uh, mm -hmm. uh, supports and pro pro protests. Pardon me.